Welcome to Taste Designs 107, I'm Yes no Karpak, you're the kings and queens. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. Today what I have for you guys is a Photoshop tutorial for part 3 of my banner series that I've been recently doing, header series, sorry. Difficulty will be 2 out of 5 stars and the duration will be 8 minutes, 5 minutes, pretty simple. Not too hard, but keep in mind, I want to talk about what will be happening with my channel after tomorrow. So, it, yeah, just keep in mind that, yeah, I'll be going through a tutorial. I just have some things that I want to talk to you guys about, and I'll have a separate video addressing all this stuff later on. It's just, I'm so confused, guys. Welcome to the desktop. This is where the magic happens. We're going to get straight into this tutorial by opening up Photoshop. And I just need to say a couple of things, guys. So recently, um, a lot of things have been happening long in my life. And I've just been thinking about what career paths I want to take in the future. And some pretty big important decisions have come up for me to either consider YouTube seriously, where I should do daily uploads, or whether I should take the safe route and continue with my studies. And at this point, I'm thinking about just going with my studies and the flow of everything like that. So I'm not going to be quitting YouTube anytime soon, but you might be able, you might be seeing some uploads only once a week. Unfortunately, my studies is more important at this point in time. YouTube isn't bursting out of control for me to take it anywhere seriously at this moment or point in time. And I'm just gonna be taking the safe route with my career options. But I'm going to have a separate video explaining everything like that once I've made up my final decision. It's just a lot of things happening with my life currently and it's just crazy. But I have the time to talk about this because of literally this tutorial will be only like 10 minutes. So we're going to make a new layer and use our rectangular marquee tool. Feather is going to be on zero. And for the foreground color, I'm just going to be using... 00C66FF, press OK, and just drag it out like that. Then I'm going to fill this one in with blue. Then I'm going to go to normal and go overlay. And just chop down my opacity a little bit. OK, so the next thing that I like to do is I'm going to press Ctrl G on this back render layer, what we have. And I'm also going to make a new layer above this, control click this area, make my foreground color black and white, and then go to filter, render, clouds, what I do in a lot of my tutorials, making sure that it's on my new layer. Go to the blender options, overlay, and we have some clouds. Okay, so I'm also going to go to my duplicated copy here. I'm going to press control L and just make the blacks more pronounced something like this so I can really see that tree popping out just like what he has done here and the same thing with the whites something like that so don't worry about this area we're going to press our eraser tool I have some splatter brushes which are really nice what I like to use and I'm simply going to eraser this but what you can see when I go ahead and erase it is I get some really nice textures on this area and it was really intriguing me at first, like how nice it is. So you can definitely do some like really creative 3D effects on this side of this thing. And it just adds a little bit of like variety and, you know, abstract tits, abstracticity, you could say. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub out all this. And you can keep like little sections of it, such as here and everything like that. and keep it like this now i don't know what he's done with the color and everything like that in that respect however i'm just going to be doing something i'm going to make it a little bit of my own banner um you know and i'll be using a big soft brush and i'll just get like the edges of this one all done and dusted so the next thing that i'm going to do is go back to my color press ctrl u and i'm just going to find a color more like his one and saturation like that you can also bring up the um, 
on your bucket or gradient and just make like a I guess like a greenish one like that and make it on a new layer and holy shit okay what did I do okay sweet back to normal I'll just control click this and drag this one right up Press Control D and go mess with the opacity. So we're getting some of those different colors into the retrospect of the grand scheme of things. And maybe we can try like a brownish like here. Just to make everything a little bit more tad dark, if that makes sense. And I also might go ahead and take away some of these clouds above my tree because I don't want that stuff messing with my tree. Okay, and with this one I might go down to the opacity just to just bring it down so we've just got some color like this. So the next thing is to make like a little white line. So I'm going to do that by making a new layer above everything else. Use my rectangular marquee tool and simply just drag it out onto here. Use my bucket tool and fill that in with white and go down to the opacity, just drag this one down so we have that little line in and then I'm going to make a final overlay line. So to do this, oh, I'm also gonna make this circle, so make a new layer. This one's going to be pretty easy, just use your ellipse tool, just drag this one out. Um, first we'll do the dashed one I guess. We'll make the stroke white and also probably the size of it 4.96. Okay great and look at something like that up there, should be good. Okay, I'm going to press Ctrl J, hold Alt, and just drag this one down slightly. Press U for the settings, go to the fill, change this one to that, and do no stroke. Okay, and I can also go down to the opacity, change this one down to hard light, I think is the one. Hard light's pretty good actually. It's not the exact same effect, but hey, we don't have it to be. And we can have something like this. Okay, I'm also going to bring in the saw logo. It's just in my logo pack. Icon pack. Sign. And just drag this one onto here. And for this one, I'm just going to right click, go to blending options, and do a color overlay of black. Okay, bam, bam, bam. And I might go down to the opacity for this one. Okay, sweet. So the next thing that I'm going to try and mess around with is the overall to get this line. So to get that line, you have to merge all these layers together. But before I do that, I'm just going to create a duplicate layer as a backup. So press Ctrl G while you shift click all these, press Ctrl G. And the same thing for these ones. This one can be named backup. Now I didn't really do organization just because we have a lot of different um, layers and it would just be nearly impossible to organize all of them. And we're just going to name this border. Okay, so we're going to press Control E to merge these all together. Go to filter, blur, glashing blur, and we'll probably do a blur around four point six. And then we are just going to just go around here. So we like selecting just a border around it. Press Control Shift I, ah, and just press Delete. So like that. So now we just get a border. Then you can go to this and do Drop Shadow. And we've applied like a really, really nice little border. It's how a lot of designers do it and it's very popular you can really mess around with it, you can apply some big shadows or 
not so big. It's just really up to you, I guess. Something like that's quite nice. And then when I hide that preview, this is what we have in the end. I'm just going to crop out that preview because I don't really need it anymore. I'm just going to crop everything out and then bam, this is what we have made over three part tutorial. I really hope that if you follow along with all this process, that you learn something new. That's like the most important thing. Always learning. Um, I'm a big, I'm always an advocate for expanding your knowledge, I guess. So just crop this one. There we go so yeah there we go um hopefully yeah as i said learn something new and i'll be back with plenty of tutorials in the future i won't stop daily uploads until i make my decision overnight i really need to sit down have a think about what i'm doing and like it's not that i can't um do daily uploads i can i'm not struggling with it yes i might do a giveaway there and there but that's still a giveaway that's giving back to you guys and i do think that a lot of you enjoy that um it's just that making a video like this like 20 minute video will take three hours can you believe it or not so i'm not getting enough sleep it's getting to the point where it's affecting my health and is not really benefiting with me at school it's not affecting me in school it's just not benefiting me which is bad so yeah and still weekly uploads you guys will be still able to learn and i'll be still very active on my channel i don't know i just have to get my shit um sorted out so yeah tomorrow there might be a video there might be not that's when i'll make my idea my my um decision up so yeah thank you so much see you in the next one and peace oh, i need to save this don't i